Well, hello guys, and welcome back to Footsteps and Tire Tracks, and we're back on the Crafter build. Um, today, today and tomorrow probably, um, we're going to be replacing the seats that we got here. Right, going to be replacing these seats. We've bought two of Jennings captain seats. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. I'm going to show you the install ammo. We'll Tell you what we feel about them. Um, we're going up to um, Dorset Voxfest on Friday, which is two days' time. So that's a good enough drive to tell you tell you what we think about them. Over the weekend, we can use them and turn them around. We've also bought a handbrake lowering kit as well. So um, handbrake lowering. I think it actually pivots, but we'll we'll find out more about that one once we get to that point. Right, now we're going to start with the um, remove of the driver's chair and there appears to be um, four bolts holding in the chair. One there, one there, and two at the back. There's also um, some wiring that goes up into the chair as well, so we'll disconnect that that comes down into the loom just, just here. Um, I'd imagine that is the airbag, oh seat, well that's a seatbelt probably, I'm just trying to look, yeah that could be the seatbelt warning light. Now one thing a lot of people do when they're uh, taking chairs out is they actually switch ignition on somewhere during the process and that's when you're going to get your airbag line, warning light come on, so sort of put your keys away from your ignition and don't turn it on for the duration. Anyway, let's carry on, we'll just take out the bolts. The tool you're going to need is a spline tool, and you can see it there. Now the size is, um, that's a 10 mil, 10 mil spline tool. Okay, so that's the set I've got. Now underneath, I'm just going to come down and show you that so you are aware of it. This is the cable you've got to disconnect. It's also tie wrapped onto the base there. No plastic plugs. And also there as well. Now we come over to the uh, passenger double seat. There's a bolt there. There's one down there. There's one there. And there's two on the far side there. And if there's another one underneath, that's all that. Nope, that's it. So there are five bolts holding in the seat. Now this um, panel here is gonna have to be removed because I know I've got to take that one off. So I think he just pulls off, he does. So there we are, that's, it just pops out. Yeah, that's quite easy. Got two receivers, one there and one there. And if I show you actually on the panel itself, it's there and there. So that was quite easy to pull off and then we will no doubt unbolt that one, but I think I'll probably leave them just for the moment until we're at the point where we're ready to put that back on. There is actually another bolt that one there, when you take the cover off, you suddenly realise there's another one there as well. So we'll just remove that one. Well, the seats are out and, um, you know, you, you come across a few little bits and pieces that you have to sort out on this particular one. Um, this cable here, which is for the tow, tow bar, um, I've been wired in through the seat, so I had to redo that. I'm now gonna, it's absolutely filthy, so we're gonna now, you can see, look, look at it going to give it a good wash out and I think once it's all clean we're going to leave it to dry overnight and start tomorrow morning putting everything back in when it's all nice and clean but it's um the van has never been cleaned in the front and the inside so it needs a really really good clean now so um I'm going to do that and I'll show you later on what it looks like well I've um 
cleaned it up a bit now and it's um, looking a little tiny bit better. Um, certainly down there you can see it's looking a lot cleaner. Something I also did, and unfortunately I don't think I've got any pictures of it beforehand. The step was covered in some form of glue or something, you know what it's like when you get these exploders vans. And uh, I've used thinners, cellulose thinners on it, and look at it, it's come up quite good I think. And also the um, step on the back of the van, and come around here, um, that was in quite a mess as well. Um, it's not perfect by any means, but it certainly looks better. I think I'm going to call it a night now and uh, we'll carry on tomorrow and put the seats in. Um, I'm going to show you here. There is two seats there and um, they're in their boxes, but tomorrow we'll be in the van. Right, so here we are on the next day and um, we cleaned all the flooring out and everything yesterday and um, it looks a lot better now. Um, obviously we've got these hoes to do something with. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do there now. I've had various ideas, maybe try to 3D print something um, and just shove in there. Maybe, we're gonna have carpet over it anyway, so it's, it's gonna be disguised. Maybe fill it with some filler, um, you know, the, the expanding foam and then just trim off the top with a um, nice sharp blade and go that way. I don't know, it's, it's not gonna be seen, so it's um, it's just for my pe personal peace of mind. I uh, fit, I've already fitted the handbrake and I'll show you a few little snippets of it as I'm doing it, but there's a full video um, that I've also made alongside this one. So if you wanna see the full video um, now, if you go up here, there's a link to it now, um, and you'll see how to fit it, where to buy it, and all the rest of the details. They didn't send it to me, I bought it. So, um, you know, I'm not getting any commission or anything. So, you know, we'll see how I get on with it um, at the weekend. So um, there'll be another video coming out. And um, the Dorset Voxfest uh, video, whether it appears before this one or after this one, I'm not sure it depends how much time I've got to edit. But that will happen. Um, so Dorset Voxfest, if it ain't come out, it'll be up there. Uh, if it ain't come out, if it, has, if it is coming out, it'll be up there. If it's before this one. Anyway, um, and you'll see how we get on with the seats a bit more. So I'm gonna carry on now. So the next thing is we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how everything turned up. Well, I think that's the best way to do it really. So we got a swivel base in that box. We got seat base in that box. And I just want you to see, that's from Jennings. And it's a genuine part. So just pay attention to that because they're cheaper than anywhere else I've seen. Um, and no, I'm, they're not paying me either. Uh, this is the box that the seats come in. They're delivered on a pallet. They um, took literally a day to deliver them. And there was a back order for the swivel bases, but as soon as the swivel bases turned up, they were here the very next day. So well impressed with that. Um, and if you open up a box, let's just open up the box. You can see, that's how they are inside the box. Totally packed. It's a good construction box as well, so there's no worries about it getting damaged, I don't think, unless, you know, your courier is a real animal. But um, the guy who delivered ours was a real nice guy, and then um, we really consider it. And this is a seat, so it comes, you can see it's got the headrest, um, the armrests are separate. There's, uh, as you said, there's only one armrest, the other one's up here. So um, there's your armrest. So you've got to put them together and there's a seat. Um, we obviously got to mount a swivel base that side. Mount the base on the passenger side. Now I am on the understanding that that plastic trim here over the fuse box may have to be trimmed a bit here. We'll see. We'll find out in a minute, see what happens. Um, but I think that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to put the base in for the um, passenger seat. And you can see it comes already with a swivel fit to it. Okay, I'm offering up the seat base and you can see straight away that there is a bit of trimming to do because the seat needs to sit down there. So we'll um, 
We'll mark that one off, trim that out, and we'll come back. Okay, now I've um, marked out where I think the trimming needs to be. And when I look in here, you'll notice someone's ripped that before. So under here, you can see that's where the bolt goes. So we're gonna try and neatly go down through that so it's nice, neat and tidy. Um, and we'll continue the footprint after, well, we'll probably continue the footprint so it all sits in there nice and tidy. So we've um, cut the first hole. Now, tried lots of different things to cut it with and ended up using a Dremel. And in hindsight, I think the Dremel was probably the best bet. So we're just gonna offer this up before we finish it off and tidy up the, the cut. Well, I tried lots of um, trimming on that plastic under the seat for the fuse box. You can see there where I tried to trim holes in it, so it would be hanging out neatly and tidy. But it just didn't work. And as you can see, I'm just gonna try and bring you in here. You can see there's just no way. Um, you can do it that way, so you do have to chop you know, the whole piece off. You can see where I've cut it there. There is absolutely no way you can do it any other way. So don't waste your time, guys. I've just spent about two hours messing around, seeing if I could get it to be trimmed and cut so it would look tidier. Um, it doesn't. I've got to just finish off that edge, yeah? I'm not happy with that, but um, yeah, so literally, this is the piece I cut off in the end. Right, I've got to take measure here, so I'm gonna measure. Um, well, that could be 100 mil. Yeah, that's 100 mil, or four, four inches, whichever you want to call it. Um, hopefully that'll save you a bit of time. I'm just like, I just wasted two hours doing that. Um, it's going to be interesting when you've got to go to the fuses though, isn't it? Because uh, there's not a lot of space there. Not really sure what we're going to do there. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, I'm going to now um, lift the seat into place, I think. And I'll just undo the bolts so we're all ready. All right, these um, seats are a lot heavier than the standard ones, I can tell you that. Right, there you are, that's the first seat in. Um, one too difficult. Um, the biggest faff, I think, really, was putting these on. Finding, finding a hose again for the arms. It was a little bit of a fiddle, but it, it wasn't too difficult. Now, I'm um, gonna unbox this next seat and put them in. Now, the interesting thing is we got electrics on this seat. Um, so I gotta now find out whether they come with the electrics or not, so that'll go. Be interesting, or do I have to take it off the old seat? We'll see. Interestingly enough, when you buy the seat or the base, it comes out with a handbrake lowering solution. And it talks about the handbrake lowering mod. I'm sure we all know about it. Um, follow instructions as well. Now, you know you're gonna cut bits out of your plastic and everything. And I think the solution I've gone for, just in case you weren't aware yet, 
you can see if I just push that one. Are you alright? Ordering this fish with the handbrake. I've got a, a handbrake pivoting kit. There's another video about that. And um which way is it gonna be? It's gonna be up there, isn't it? Uh there'll be a link and you can go and watch the video of how I fitted it. Really easy as well. And uh, you'll find out where to buy it as well. Right, let's get on. We're getting a driver's seat. All sorted out. Right now, a little bit of a frustration putting this swivel base in for the um, driver's side. The holes that have been pre-drilled are slightly misaligned. Nothing major, about a mill. So I'm just gonna have to see if I've got a drill to take them out about a mill, which is frustrating. It really is frustrating, but is what it is. And we're on to the last bit of fitting the chair. Still don't know what we're going to do with the electrics though, from the other chair. So I think I might have a look and see if I can take that off the other chair first and go with from there before we actually put the chair in. Well, the electrics I was looking at is actually the seat belt light, and um, you can see it here. It comes around the bottom of the seat to the loom that plugs in back to the van. So we've got to remove that. Now I had to take this panel off. And uh, if you do have to take this panel off, you see at the back, you've got two little clips there and there on both sides. Now you push the center through and you have a pin. Hopefully you can see that. That pushes through that and that's how that works. You just push the center uh, just use a drift like this. And you can do it, you literally in there, push through. Then it unclips from that end and it just literally comes right off. Now we're just going to undo that one, remove the wiring loom, and then we'll put it back into the new seat. Might have been an idea of undoing this, but it was still in the van. There he goes. Well, we've um, installed the seats and there you are. First impressions is I'm, I'm not really that impressed because um, I'm gonna show you closer in a minute. The backs of the seats are totally different. Um, when I came to put the seat belt receiver in there, the bolt had been cross threaded and the swivel base, the rear holes were slightly misaligned. So I had to drill them out by about a mil and maybe maybe two mil actually in the end to make them fit. So the seats are in. Um, spin nicely. That's nice and easy to do that, isn't it? And on the hoe, I think they look okay. Really disappointed about the back of them though. Yeah, so I contacted Jennings. Um, hopefully they'll come up with some sort of resolution. Um, and hopefully um, the resolution will be before even the video goes live. But that's it for the minute. The next thing, I'm not gonna finish this video yet because obviously we wanna feel what they're like driving wise, comfort wise. Um, so that will be the next thing we're gonna try out. We may have to rethink about where we're mounting our seatbelt. I may mount it down off the seat base. That's gonna get in the way as well, isn't it? I suppose. I don't know. Um, we're gonna have to think about the wiring for um, how that's gonna work. Maybe it comes up it through the middle of the seat some way. Really don't know. Let's have a look at these seat bases though. Let's have a look at the backs of the seats. So if we look at this one, you can clearly see the staples. Got thread hanging down there as well, I've just noticed there. Um, all looks a little tiny bit untidy, doesn't it? And then we come over to this one. And you can see the seat, the staples ain't there. But the quality is fairly poor, like you've got a bit of 
it doesn't cover properly there. And if you look here, it's all sort of, I don't know, just a little bit not quite fitting properly. Here's a shame. I did say originally to V that I thought I would like to have uh, put golf seats in or sat seats in. Um, we went for this because we thought it would be a better solution. Um, who knows, Jennings might come back to us and it might get resolved and we might be very happy. Um, but at the moment, I'm just feeling a little bit peeved, to say the honest. We've spent a lot of money. Um, I will put the cost of it down there so you can see. Um, I can't even remember myself now, but it's a lot. And I just think the quality's poor. You know, hopefully that's not what everybody else is experiencing. I've read online that a few people were disappointed with them when they got them. And I thought, you know, maybe it's just people being people. You know, people like to say things online, don't they, just to get a reaction. But there we are. I don't think they're a proper crafter replacement. You know, they fit, but they're just standard captain seats fitting on the crafter basis. You know, this wiring, it needs to, there needs to be a better solution, really. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. But we'll have a look at it. Anyway, that's it for today. We're going to be going to Dorset Voxfest tomorrow. We'll sort of um, have a little talk later on when we get up there. What we think about the seats driving in them long distance and how we feel about them. So there we are. So far, seats installed. We're on our way to Dorset Voxfest and we're also going to go and see Evil Motion Designs. Some of the furniture we want in the van. But I want to continue talking about these chairs. Now, I sent an email to uh, Janet yesterday, sort of stating my um, displeasure, what a better word, over the fact that um, the two seats are different. I had no reply back from them as of yet, which you'd think, you know, disgruntled customer, they might come back to a bit quicker, but they haven't. The seats, yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. They do move slightly when you're moving around. You feel a flex, but that's going to be the swivel bases. And I don't think you can get away without the swivel bases. I'm more disgruntled about the way you know, the finish on them is very poor. I've got the seat adjusted quite nicely now, so driving and it's okay. I don't think it's as comfortable as the original craft to see. Now that's just me. How would I like this to end up now? I think I would like him to offer my, me my money back. And I think I would like to rethink what I'm going to do. Whether we buy more expensive seats from them, um, or I go for gold form sat seats, like I said originally. Or even um, Audi Q seats, apparently, are another seat to look at. But I'm um, not really sure. But. I suppose that brings this video to an end. All I can say is thanks for watching this video, guys. I really wanted to end this video with an answer from Jennings, so I could say, well, Jennings have come back and apologized or whatever, and we're gonna get it sorted out. But um, no, there's nothing like that. So for the moment, um, we are where we are. And I suppose we're gonna end this video a bit sad, really, um, where it goes sometimes. Well, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Well, we really do appreciate it. There will be an update one way or another. I'm not quite sure what the update will be yet. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video, uh, which is actually starting now because we're off to Dorset Volksfest. So um, thanks very much. See you later. Bye. Right then, this is uh, an additional to go with the uh, video for the installation of the seats. Um, this is at the very, very end of um, after emailing them. I told you I emailed them and was hoping to get a reply back from them. Well, they've come back to me and they've offered to replace the seats. I've had a good think about it and looking at the quality of the seats, um, I've, I've noticed you got like pieces sticking through. It's all a bit lumpy and bumpy around the edges. Um, personally, I don't think I want them. So um, I've emailed them this morning and told them I'll get them ready for collection. So we're going to you know, remove them from the van again in a minute. And I don't think I... They've said they're going to replace them, but I think, in all honesty, I, I want my money back. 
I'm just not entirely happy. And, you know, this is going to be a, an expensive build. And uh, you're going to spend a lot of time in those seats, driving and sitting in them when you're in the van. And I don't think it's what I want. So that's where we end it. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, Jennings have been quite upfront and, um, you know, they've always replied to me when I've emailed them. So I'm hoping they'll accept that. The swivels and the bases seem absolutely fine, so they've got no issues with them at all. Again, I will see you later, guys. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Look after yourselves. See you later. Bye. Well, here we are again. This video is never going to end, is it? You know, I keep on saying it's the end. It's not the end. It is the end. It's not the end. Well, I think this is the final bit. As you see, there's no seats in the van now. They've gone back. Jennings have collected them, or Jennings haven't collected them, but the Mercurius collected them and gone back to Jennings. I've been talking to Jennings via email. Jennings came back to me and offered me three options. They offered me to keep the seats and have a 20% refund, to have the seats replaced, and they would guarantee that the replacement seats would be checked to make sure they're both exactly the same or I could have my money back. I thought about it, oh, for about 30 seconds. I've decided I want my money back, and I've talked all the way through that I'm probably gonna go for um, Golf or Passat seats, and I did even mention Audi seats. Well, in the interim, I got talking to someone who's already fitted uh, Range Rover seats, and I've just bought a set of leather Range Rover seats. They're not quite the same as the one that the guy I was talking to has fitted, but I think they're going to fit. I'm going to have to modify the electrics and everything, but um, I've only paid £127 a seat compared to how much I paid for the original Jennings seats. So a little bit of hard work um, to put them in is going to be well worth it. We'll see what they look like when I've done. Anyway, this really is the end of the video now. And I'm going to say thanks for watching, um, enduring all these little false stops at the end. But um, this is it this time. So thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Look after yourselves, guys. Bye. Oh, subscribe, please, if you haven't already done so. See you later. Bye.